hard carry if you give him a good matchup. Yesterday it was Faker in the mid lane. Today it could easily be Duke up in top. Trundle into Poppy. We'll see if that can happen here. And the reason I love Trundle... And it's up to sustaining now. Let's we'll see what happens. Media Void is coming in. No flash Faker. He does have cleanse though. But there's the root. There's the damage. Oh, 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 early oh, oh. cleanse. And that means a Voidless chains him down. One more hit will do it. First blood for the I Made Jungler. Blink not going to get enough done. A little bit of damage actually chasing in. He's got to be careful though. And he's actually going to get it, but it trades back. A great overload bounce from Bamey off the minions to get it back. Two to one, I may. Fantastic. It was also the Flame Charm as it landed. One more shot, I'll do it. That's going to be the stun on a wolf. He's running out of HP. Has to flash away. Here come the teleport. Summoner heal in. And he's going to stay alive. The re-engage on a road flashing to stay up just barely. An amazing Jay now on the wrong side of an ice pillar. Oh, he's missed. going to whip a great dodge by Blank. And Bang gives us up the kill. Now the slows. The chase into the turret. Repel isn't going to be enough. Blank with another kill thanks to the red buff. 3-2 SKT. And actually fantastic. Fantastic rotation out. Link is part of the mix as well. So here comes the tough part. The javelin's going to land. Aggro is still on to Duke. The tackle, the knock of Amazing J cannot get out in time. Another kill comes through for Blank. The sub is working. 100% kill participation on this Nidalee out farming. The further ahead this trundle gets, the harder it is for IMA to execute on any kind of 5v5 fight. Ooh, the stun's gonna land though. The rune prison will be in range. Blank can't go away for quite a while, but here comes the pillar. Here comes Duke and not enough damage yet. Yeah, the skill shot's going to land. And crucially, a voidless also was able to jump out. A nice escape as well, Bamey. Getting him with the ulti. Out they go. The so, and this is now the culmination of that effort. They've got complete darkness here on this side of the map, taking down Baron pretty rapidly. And I may have to face check through several layers of wards, and there's not even a chance. Baron already picked up here by SKT, and maybe they find a bit of an engagement. Amazing Day Flash again getting caught out by Faker though. Puts him not quite into the wall, nothing really being gained. Amazing J about to lose his life and does so. Sends members of SKT back, but no one else from IMA was ready to follow in off Amazing J's flash. Just went in to die by himself. Gonna lose the one going against him. Jin Jared up to have thanks to a crit from Bang, and here comes the Glacial Fissure. Put damage on a blank, can't quite kill him. The rocket not doing enough. Blank lives by the skin of his teeth, and now it's Baby dropped out. Faker with the petrifying gaze. The second kill comes in thanks to Bang. Avoid this running out of HP. Down to the bottom of your screen. One more shot. The crit's gonna do it. Bang gets another. I'm Amazing Jay is gonna drop two and two right here. It's only Road left alive, and he's gonna be lonely as it's him walking back to his home camp. Because guess what? SKT with the inhibitors all down now, looking for the game-winning push onto the Nexus turret. Then it was controlled the whole way through. SKT won their lanes, they won the fights, they played the control, and now 2-0 is the reward as SK Telecom T1 are in form, knocking down IMA. You know, ultimately, too smart, too good, and way too disciplined for this IMA team to even have a look in this game. Yeah, honestly, almost no mistakes from SKT, no chance for IMA to get a crazy game going on where it can maybe bounce back. And we have to just look at that draft. We have to look at what they were trying to do, subbing in Beimei with that rise. So they were building a 1-3-1 comp, but they decided to pick a top lane who has a lot of counters as a split pushing force, and they pick this Jinx in the bottom lane. Yes, it's a fine matchup against Sivir, but then it's